My band, Lorenzo's Music, does a live music songwriting stream. The way we do it is we have three cameras set up in different places pointing at different musicians in the band. We stream that live and we just kind of make stuff up, see if we come up with any new song ideas. And a lot of the times it actually inspires us to create a new song from one of these sessions. This three camera setup is kind of cool for the live stream because you can just look at everybody that's playing. And of course we could take that clip and just share it as is with the three cameras. But I wanted to take something that looked like we were switching cameras, something that would just go from musician to musician. And if something happened or somebody did something, we could show that part. So I'm gonna use Caden Live, a free and open source video editing program to make this an actual video that could be a YouTube music video. And the results turned out pretty cool. So I thought I would share how I'm doing this taking a live stream that has three cameras and turning it into a music video. So let me show you how I did that. So first I've loaded the files that I need into Caden Live and I also included a WAV file in case I wanted to replace the audio. So I have one track here for me, one track for Cliff, one track for Rob's camera, and then I added another track in case I wanted to put text on top of it saying what the song is. So I'm gonna take the video and drag it into the timeline so now on the right, you'll see that I have the video set up that's showing what the editing window is gonna do. Then I drag just the video with no audio down into Cliff's camera. Then I drag the same thing down into Rob's camera and it's only the video with no audio. So what I wanna do is isolate each one of these video tracks, starting with the top one that's Rob's camera. I'm gonna right click and insert effect and choose transform. Transform will allow me to zoom in on the video and I can scroll in on the size percentage to make it larger. Then I can drag the video over to try and line it up. So what I wanna do is I wanna make it so that only Rob's camera is gonna show up on this timeline. So I can move that over and keep adjusting it until I get it just right. And eventually once I get this correctly, since we're using the same video, I'll show you in a sec how I can make this process go a lot faster. And now Rob's camera is set completely in the entire video area for his channel. Now going along, what I can do is I can select the save effect that I created here and make a name for it. Like, let's just say Rob cam, because it'll be Rob's camera going forward. So I save that. Now, when I go to the effects area in Caden Live, I can search for Rob, and you'll see that it's right there. There's a preset that I already actually have, and I can just drag that onto Rob's camera, and you can see that it already zooms in to the settings that I had previously. Now I will mute or hide that particular camera and move on to Cliff's. And since I've already done this, just to make it go faster, I will search for Cliff, drag that onto Cliff's and boom, his will actually go right to the proper sizing. And then I will hide that track and search for my camera, which I've titled Tom something, drag that onto the Tom camera. And now mine is in place, even though I'm off screen here, obviously. So let's move that over to show you. There I am even pointing at you just to show here I am. So if I unhide each of those channels, you'll see they're stacked. And as I was going through, they were cycling through and on top is Rob. So that's the one we will see in the preview area. So first what I wanna do while I'm kind of moving this stuff around and getting it ready and starting the video at the proper place, I right click and group all of these tracks together. So when I split it, it splits all three tracks at once. I don't have to go through and try and line them up. And then I can select the area before it or after it or wherever I splice it. And the video will start there. So now that I have the area that I want, I can right click on the tracks that I have selected and then ungroup them so that I can edit the videos individually. Now here's the trick of editing the cameras. Basically, I just cut and splice each one of the tracks to make room for which camera I want to use. I'll start out here with my camera. Let's say Rob's camera next. So it will switch from mine to Rob's. And then I can just move and slide different parts of it. I can create a splice here. So after it goes to Rob's, it can go back to my camera. If I slide over Rob's track a bit and then slide cliffs underneath it. 
And you see that way it changes between each one of the cameras. And I can continue to do this by let's splice this one here and then shorten the two videos below it so that I will show again after Rob's camera and you'll see there I am. Then it goes to Cliff's camera, which Cliff is still off screen. So I know that that's confusing, but he's off on the side. So since he's not there, I'll keep going to Rob's camera, switching back and forth. Now I'll splice Rob's camera again. Ah, Cliff is back so I can show him on the camera now. And I'll splice Cliff's and I just continue to keep doing this, listening to the audio going, who's doing what, what musician should I show? To show you the end result, I've gone through and edited all the different lines here, the different tracks. As you can see, I've got all the tracks with the different splicings and different areas, sections cut out so it switches cameras starting with mine on the bottom, Cliff's in the middle, and Rob on top. And as the video plays through, it will switch to each one of these cameras as they're stacked on top of it. It's kind of like a game of sideways Tetris. And when I'm done, I have a video that looks like it has three cameras that are switching from one musician to another as we play. So that's how we turn one of our live stream three camera videos into a multi-camera switching music video for YouTube.